What's up everyone? It's your boy from Rajaolo on the food and travel videos. Right now I am in Ranchabango, Tangarang. It's late evening, it's a little bit chill here. And then I wanted to go and try something nice like Indonesian will call it jajan, Indonesian snacks. So I said let me roam around the street and you know maybe I'll find something very interesting. I wanted to try like uh, the usual goreng and that you will find mostly in Jakarta but as I was walking around I saw something that really catches my eye and I really want to try it so let me walk you through this and let's see how what this woman got for us in the street here Serabi as it is called is a Javanese pancake that is so unique in the way it is made the watery mixture is made up of rice flour which is mixed with coconut milk and grated coconut. The mixture is then poured into a clay pot and then covered for two to three minutes to bake. Almost anything can be added as a topping on this bouncy cake. But I am just going to limit myself to the original sarabi, tempe sarabi and onchom. So right now I am given the privilege to make one for myself. And anybody who wants to have it is free of charge because farmer is making it. It's not that difficult to do, but then the smoke coming from the local firewood here, you know, makes you want to cry. It's just like I'm peeling an onion. So we just have to wait for... But I'm a minute, boo. Yeah, so I, I just pour in the mixture. I just have to wait for uh, one or two minutes, and then let's see how successful it is. I am an apprentice, and I hope it, the outcome is great. Oh, in Oh my god, I just bought myself. Ah. And an egg filling sarabi, which is baked differently, as the sarabi mixture is poured into the clay pot. The egg is then whisked and poured into the sarabi, covered with banana leaf, which makes a much bigger sarabi as the egg expand. So right now our, our, our order is here. This is called sarabi. This is Sundanese food. So this one, they call it uh, onchom. Onchom is a byproduct of other foods like tofu, soy pulp or even peanut. Original one. We're going to start with this one, Sudanese food. Let's give it a try. Wow, that's still hot. That's really nice. It's salty. Let's give it a try again because I don't know how to describe this. Food. 
It is not sugary. It's not salty. It's in between. Let's give it a try this one. So this is the one with peanut. Let's just go for it. So this is the one with the peanut. Let's give it a try. I think this, this one is more nice. But I haven't tried the, the, the omelette one. The one with egg. Let, let me try this one. It's the biggest here. It's so fluffy and so bouncy. Look at that. It's just like cushion. Let's give it a bite. If my eyes are tired, I would say this is omelette. It's a little bit salty, but really nice. Bouncy. Not chewy at all. Look at that. It's so bouncy. So this is all I got for you on this episode of Farmer Jawla Food and Travel Videos. If you have been here for so long, thanks for watching and thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. If this is your first time, do not forget to subscribe, share, like, activate the notification bell. And I see you on another episode of Farmer Jawla Food and Travel Videos.